going to be trying to fix the cab roof. It's plastic from my cat loader. Had a tree fall on the front of it. Big standing dead fell over when I touched it. But it's cracked up on the back around some of the bolt holes. It's got a chunk missing out of the front. It comes in this black carrying case, kind of keep it protected. Here are the attachments. The two plastic melters and the staples that they use. It's called a Shark Pro-Tac welder. Plugs into the 110. Here's the torch, I guess. I don't know what you would call it on this. But I'll just plug it in. On the back of the welder, there's the on and off switch and an inline fuse. You can turn it on. You can see there's a LED light on the torch. Help you when you're trying to staple, I guess. I don't know why it's really needed. There's your settings. And for your different type of staples, it tells you what setting to use. <clears throat> That's how you insert the staples into the actual gun. Since I'm using this style, it says to use number three or actually number one. And you just hold the trigger, heat the staple up. Press it on the plastic, wait for it to melt in. And then release. Get a little close up here for you. The staples all the way in. And the two prongs are left out, but you can just cut those off or break those off later. But I'm going to leave them all. Staples are cheap. Taking this cab roof off is not the funnest. I was watching a video on YouTube and the manufacturers say sink it in and then twist it and get it underneath some of the hard plastic and that should hold it even better.
and that's what one of the repairs will look like. After I'll come back with the smoothing tool. And then I'll just melt along the surface to try and seal it up. But for now, I'll just keep fixing this crack. Here's a little progress report. Got that big long crack taken care of. Around the bolt hole. This thing's actually pretty easy to use. Doesn't burn. Doesn't make smoke. And these two leads don't really get hot. It's only the staple that gets hot and it's easy to come out. I can tell I'm gonna run out of staples. Not very, uh, not very many left of the kind I've been using, but there's also different kinds I'll probably use up on that hole over there. But I gotta do around most of the bolts. Just try and remedy any cracks that could happen. I'll have to use fiberglass up in that hole up there. You don't have to use any pressure at all, you just let the heat melt in. It does all the work for you. And it's good not to use pressure because you don't want to push the material out. You just want this staple just to sink in it and wrap around it. So here's what the finished repair looks like for stapling. Now you just go back and wiggle these and they all break off. So here it is with all of the little prongs removed off the staples. Now you can go ahead and slip this on. And use this 
Probably have to turn it up. I don't know how high, it doesn't tell you how high, so let's try on three. Use this to melt. And smooth off. All of the plastic. As best you can. Of course, the staples, some of them break off above the surface. Here is the uh, finished looking repair. Staples are sealed off for the most part. There's still some that stick up. I might take some sandpaper and uh, smooth them off. There's still some cracks. Water might be able to get through. This isn't for making things watertight by no means. It's more so for structure. But uh, I'm just gonna see if I can seal up that crack right there and hit it with some sandpaper and see what it looks like after. You can definitely get a nicer finish, but for what I'm doing, I don't really care what it looks like. I'll leave it rough. That extra plastic on top should uh, help support it. Make it a little bit more structurally sound with that extra plastic. Because on the outside, you won't even see the repair. You'll just see the little crack. I don't like how it exposed some of the staples that didn't go in. So that's about all I'm going to do. Completed. Here's on the outside, the part that you'll see. It's actually quite rigid. Before it used to fold in half. Now I just need to do the fiberglass to fill in that hole.